Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a nice fish, whatever that is. Oh, my God. He's taking the rag, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's probably a red. Go up high, go up high. Bam, we got our first crab. Oh, he's little. He's a little. Oh, yeah, here we go. Got him. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the channel. This is Rolling Cajun Outdoors, and I'm Rolling Cajun. I'm in uh, Hackberry again. I'm actually between Hackberry and Holly Beach. Y'all already know what time it is. We're going to try to get on some fish. I'm actually going to be trying to do uh, get some crabs, too. I went crabbing yesterday, and I did good crabbing and fishing both. I decided that I wanted to come back again today, but uh, the spot that I wanted this morning was already taken. I got waited a little bit too late to get out here. I forgot it was a weekend. On a weekend, you got to get out here super early if you want to get a good spot. The spot I wanted was taken, which is uh, which is unfortunate. So I picked another spot. It's near a bridge. It should actually be pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna actually just start off fishing this uh, this morning, and uh, we will see. If I start catching some fish or something like that and I get excited about this spot, I'll go ahead and put some crab lines out too. I'm not gonna put as many as I had out yesterday because I prefer to catch the, the speckled trout than I do uh, crabbing. But the crabbing is fun too. Whenever the speckled trout ain't uh, biting and all that, you can catch crabs in between, so that's pretty awesome. But anyways, we're gonna start off fishing. I'll be using the same lure as I did yesterday. It's an electric chicken is the name of the color. It's uh, pink and green, and uh, so that we're going to be chunking that for a little while, see if there might be some speckled trout running through here. So let's get out here, and let's go try to catch some fish. All right, y'all got to let me know if y'all like this view better than being on my head. All the big YouTubers all uh, film on their uh, chest, so uh, maybe that's something that y'all enjoy more than being on the head. If y'all like the, uh, the, this view better, let me know in the comment section so I can uh, keep filming like this. And let me know if I need to uh, adjust the camera more up or down to uh, the suit, what y'all want to see. This is the color we're going to be using again. I got it on a weighted hook. It's a uh, color made by, uh, originally made from uh, Bass Assassin, I believe. It's called Electric Chicken. Uh, it's a really good color for uh, speckled trout and redfish and flounder. So this is what we're going to be using. All right, so no strikes on the, on the fishing. So we're going to go grab all the stuff for crabbing, and we're going to set up crabbing. And we're going uh, to catch some crabs, and then we'll uh, fish in between. And that it's going to be fun. So let's get, uh, let's get set up for that, and uh, I'll get back with y'all here in a bit. All right, so let's grab everything, get down here, and get set up to where we can do some crabbing. Um... I forgot to bring my chair. All right, get that one out. We got two more to get out. And then we're gonna be rocking and rolling. There we go. All right, we're set up for crabs. Now we can wrench our hands off real good and then uh, start chunking some lures and we'll try to try to catch some uh, fish while we're waiting on the crabs to bite all right let's see what we got here High, go up high bam we got our first crab he's not that big he's not as big as i thought he was because he was sure pulling that thing hard but uh he's a nice crab shoot yeah baby number one i already got the first one in the in the uh, ice chest that's what i'm talking about
there we go. Oh yeah, baby, that's a nice fish, whatever that is. Oh my God, he's taking the rag, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's probably a red. It could be a, a, a big catfish or something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, we got us a red. Oh yeah, baby, we gotta keep a red. Oh yeah, baby. Nice red fish. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Hell yeah. Oh my God, hell yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Look at that nice red. I gotta wait for all these cars to pass to show him off because I don't want everybody to see this. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful red. All right, let's get him on the stringer and get him out there so we can keep him alive. That's a good sign that we're already catching. We already caught a nice red and, the, and the, the major just started. So, and we got two more hours to catch some more reds and some more uh, trout. So I'm super excited about this. All right, let's put him way over here, out of the way. All right, let's get this crab. He's been on there for a while. I meant to get him a minute ago, but I kept fishing like a like an idiot. <laughs> I forgot that I had a crab on there. I got so excited after catching that redfish that uh, I lost track of what I was supposed to have been doing. That's funny. Oh, he's little. He's a little. We'll keep him. That's whatever. He'd be good for gumbo. Nah, I mean. He'd be good in a gumbo, you know what I mean? I haven't gotten even a single, uh, a single biter over here on the, uh, the one underneath the bridge. I thought it was going to be the best. Oh, yeah. There's a crab on that one over there underneath the bridge, so let's go get it. Shoot you, buddy, buddy. All right, let's go get that crab over here. We got one under the bridge. I don't know how long he's even been on there. I, just, I looked earlier and I couldn't tell if the line was straight, but it's straight. It's definitely straight. We kind of got to get down here to make this happen. Oh, he's pulling good, that's for sure. Oh yeah, here we go. Got him. That's a nice more that's the biggest crab that we caught so far. Shoot ya. Oh yeah, nice crab. Alright. We're like three or four crabs in three crabs that's our third crab we got a redfish hey today's looking up already today's looking real good i'm pretty happy with the turnout so far we still probably got another hour hour and a half on this major probably an hour oh no we still got a whole hour and a half on this major so we got plenty of time to actually uh catch some more so it's gonna be awesome doing pretty good got a red and a couple of a couple of crabs so far all right so first thing the refuse is closed the refuse is this is refuse yeah you all refuse. oh i didn't even know that second thing even if the refuge was open the 
can't fish on the side of the highway. That's why we got no parking signs when you just park that right there. Yes, sir. I didn't even notice that. I apologize. And then also, you got to be inside of a public use area if you're going to fish on, on the refuge. Okay. And every public use area right now has a gate on it. Says area closed, says refuge closed until further notice. Okay. Okay, so, so I sure need to go up further towards Holly Beach or yeah, Holly Beach or Hackberry, one end or the other. So make sure you know where you're at. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. All right, I appreciate it. You gotta pick it up and one, one end or the other. Okay, I appreciate All right. it. All right, bro. Thank you for letting me know. You have a great one. Well, we gotta roll everything up and go find us a different spot. I didn't know that we wasn't supposed to be fishing here. Uh, I honestly didn't even see the no parking sign right there by my vehicle. I guess I was so excited to find a spot to fish that wasn't really paying attention but it's all good we will move up something we'll move up farther i uh, will head uh, closer to hackberry and uh we'll go uh we're probably gonna head towards holly beach and then go try out over towards holly beach and uh see if we can uh find a spot over there that might actually be open i don't know with it being so late in the evening uh the morning time like it is i believe that the majority of the spots are actually going to be taken and it's gonna be really hard to find a spot right now. So I'm not gonna get my hopes up to do any more fishing for the rest of the day. We may end up having to call it and come out again tomorrow and, and give it another shot tomorrow. So anyways, we're gonna roll everything up and I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. All right, so here's a scoop. I drove all the way out to Holly Beach and I was gonna keep going and see if I could find a spot off the side of, off of Holly Beach, but I don't know if that's part of the reserve. Um, I'm gonna have to look into it. I'm gonna have to ask some friends up here where the, rever where the reserves start and stop. I don't really know where they start and stop at, so I need to find that out. Plus, there's a whole bunch of trash on each side of the road all the way down because of the, the hurricane tore this place up pretty bad. They got a lot of trash that needs to be picked up. They got it stacked on each side of the road, so it's going to be a hard time finding a spot out here where I can actually pull over and fish. So what I decided to do is I went and came, I came parked at over here at Holly Beach. I can't drive on the beach because I got a two wheel drive and the, the sand is too soft to get out there. So I'm going to walk out there barefooted. We're going to go uh, cruise the beach and we're going to do some surf fishing. I'm just going to not really surf fishing, but uh, I guess you call it surf fishing anyways. I'm going to chunk some lures on the surf, see if we can maybe catch a couple of trout or some redfish or just anything running along the shore. And, uh, and then and we'll do that for about an hour. And if we don't catch anything, we'll go ahead and leave and call it a day. But I came all the way out here to Holly Beach, so I may as well go on the beach and go do some fishing. I have not fished uh, artificial lures on a beach in quite some time, so it should be pretty fun. Let's go try it out. Let's see if we can catch something. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. That pretty much ends that video. I ended up uh, throwing, throwing lures on the surf for about 45 minutes to an hour. I tried different lures, couldn't even get a bite. So it was fun. I did enjoy it, but I didn't catch anything, so I'm not gonna put it in the videos. Anyway, if you're new to this channel, subscribe don't even fucking think about it just hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos thank you so much for watching i appreciate all the support we'll see y'all in the next video tight lines